Look at that, Tommy. It's another winter wonderland here in Colorado. So of course it's time for another snow review. That's right. So we have the cheapest new electric car you can buy here in the US, the Chevrolet Bolt MSRP, just $27,000 after tax credit, as little as like 18 or 19 grand. But we're going to see how it performs out here in a Colorado winter. Now I'm guessing as a front wheel drive car, Tommy, with all seasons, um, it's not gonna do great. Well, it depends on the all season because I have tested some of the latest all seasons and they're pretty impressive, but let's talk about these ones. So this is running the Michelin Green X tire. It is an efficient all season, but what I appreciate is that yes, it is a mud and snow. So it is an actual all season, not a summer. And I thought being such an affordable electric car, they might put on some off brand tire, but a Michelin is a proper tire. It's a good brand. Let's see how they do in the snow. Yeah, but both you and I know that snow tires, what makes the magic is that below 44 degrees Fahrenheit the compound doesn't turn into a puck yeah. and so they become very grippy and even on ice they actually manage to provide traction now with these low ro rolling resistance tires Tommy they may become like pucks when it gets cold well should we find out yeah yeah go for it I'll stand out here you see how this thing goes okay right. now once again it's an electric car which really doesn't matter it, it does matter a little bit because it's heavier so that might give you more traction as front wheel drive and let me ask Tommy a question here because I'm curious about something there you go. Are you going to do with traction control on or off? Yeah, we're going to use traction control on to start with, just like you would on an everyday basis. Uh huh. And then if we get stuck or if we need some additional wheel spin, we can push the button. Okay, go for it. Are you ready? Yeah. So how does the cheapest electric car in America do in the snow? Let's find out. We've got fresh snow. We've got a Colorado Winter Wonderland. And we've got a Rivian over there. Uh, that's also an electric truck. Here it comes. Of course, that is all-wheel drive instead of front-wheel drive. Uh, and I think that guy actually has, get this, a uh, service here in Colorado where he has electric lawn care and in the winter, electric snow removal. So he's got an electric snow blower that he uses uh, to come and do your driveway, keeping it emissions-free. Well, I'm going to stop here on this little hill, even though we only have three to four inches. I think we're going to struggle to get up this. Are you ready? All right, let me uh, zoom out a little bit so we can get a better shot. Go for it. <laughs> what's it doing? Well, keep it going. This wheel's spinning. Let me check if the other one's spinning. Let me see what's going on over here. Yeah, they're both spinning, Tommy. But the car's not moving. <laughs> and this is a very slight hill. Here, let me turn traction control off. Are you ready? Yeah, turn traction control off. I don't think it's going to make a difference. Oh, it does make a difference. I think the reason it makes a difference is it actually um, is able to uh, kind of cut its way to the pavement and give Tommy a little bit of traction. <laughs> It made a difference. Hey, you moved like a car length. I, I did move a little bit. You want to go back up and get some momentum and see how it does? Yeah. All right. All right. And then come through the deep stuff on the way down. Well, there he goes. Maybe. So um, here's a funny story. People moved to Colorado uh, from places like California, dare I say Texas, uh, and they all have two-wheel drive cars, and then they hit the winter, and uh, yeah, they sell their two-wheel drive cars and get either all-wheel drive or uh, four-wheel drive vehicles for the second winter. Uh, and that's why cars here in Colorado that are all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive uh, carry a premium. Now you may be wondering what's the difference between all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive. All-wheel drive usually just means um, it sends power to all four wheels all the time, whereas four-wheel drive might be like a pickup truck where you actually have to select it or it has a low range transfer case with a low range, uh, which makes it uh, a little bit more, I would say manually selectable. Uh, but in the end, they both do the same thing. Look at, he's getting covered in snow from the snowblower. <laughs> but there's not a rock in there. Look at this guy, a riding mower coming over here. Wow, a riding snow plow. Cool. I've never seen that before. Uh, and I guess my question is why isn't he plowing and just riding? 
But it looks like a boatload of fun. Here comes Tommy again. <laughs> Did you see that riding uh, guy, riding uh, plow? All right, let me jump in there and see what it's like when I'm in with you, okay? Yeah, that guy's having fun. Yeah, he's having fun, but he's not plowing anything. This has been quite the uh, journey of discovery. All right, let's see what it's like on the inside here. So I had noticed there's kind of two different modes. Of you traction. want to show it? Here. Traction control off. Yeah, why don't you show it? So the first one, you push the big button, right? Yeah. It gives you the little light. And then if you push and hold it, it will actually uh, give you the light. And then it'll also give you that little indicator there on the right. I do believe so. There it goes. So it's like double off now. But regardless, um, let's talk about the tire performance. Now, I understand that the main purpose of these tires is efficiency, but I will say not only in snowy situations, but wet and even dry, these tires provide very little grip of any kind. Um, they're tailored specifically for the most range, but if I own this bolt personally, even on a daily basis, if I had to deal with wet roads, I'd probably consider swapping out the tread. Hey, you look like uh, you got into a, a, a pirate fight there. What happened on the side of your... Well, that's my dog, Blaze. Okay. He gave me a really good scratch and... I would have gone with the pirate. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you... I lost the fight to a cougar. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, so you put on all weather tires on your Mini uh, SE, which is also an electric vehicle, right? Mm -hmm. Not snow tires. How would those compare to this? Amazing. Yeah. I mean, the difference is um, astounding. But I also probably lost a good 15% of my range by changing out the wheels and the tires. Uh, because, of course, I, I went with a smaller wheel that was not an aero design. So, yeah, I mean, this is almost... It's basically undrivable. So people in Europe are like, well, you gotta have snow tires. Here in the States, even in Colorado, it's pretty rare to see people run snow tires because they're not mandatory. We always recommend that you definitely, definitely should, but a lot of people here just don't, even on front wheel drive cars. And even in these three, four inches, this car is borderline undrivable. Now, over uh, at uh, alltfl.com, we just published a video where I did a road trip in a Hummer EV to see what upsizing tires and cold weather does to range. Uh, and the interesting number there, which I won't give away, was how many, um, Miles how many kilo hour. hours. So what are we getting in this guy? Well, we're doing right right now, we're averaging 3.6. Yeah. But typically when it's not snowing gross out, I can do 3.8 to four. Uh, one thing which is cool, can I say one more thing? Yeah, sure. Um, so in a gasoline vehicle, the traction control can only change engine output a few times a second. And you got to consider that in a ICE vehicle, an internal combustion engine, you've got torque curves, right? And the engine makes different torque at different points in the torque curve. Well, the great thing about an electric motor is that the computer has almost infinite adjustability when it comes to varying um, output and modulating to meet the needs of the traction control. So you have really precise control over how the traction control performs in various conditions. I like the windshield wipers. Yeah, I like the way they uh, wipe too. That's a, that's that is the better of the two ways. You can go, you know, together like this, or you can go, you know, up, Great. Right. Right European. Yeah, I love that. Should we try the brakes? Yeah, try the brakes. Okay, here we'll accelerate up to about twenty. Yeah, well, somebody's Deep now plow, plowed there. Are you ready? Yeah. Uh, it works. It works, but yeah, it's a go down ice for sure. Now, we should talk about winter tires. Uh, there are different kinds, right? There is. Uh, Obviously, snow tires, which are designed to function at below 44 degrees, uh -huh. a compound and the tread are optimized for this kind of driving. And that, there's this new set called uh, all-weather tires, which are basically a harder compound that are snow enabled, but you can drive them all year round. They don't melt in the summer. And then there are mud and snows, which are actually all seasons, which do really poorly in the mud and snow. Yeah, but it depends because some all season, some of the new ones, like we just went on a on a trip, remember with um, Bridgestone yep. and some of the new all seasons are pretty darn close to all weather capability. Um, but I want to point out one more thing too. We do have regen braking in this vehicle and with regen on high as it is now, when you let off, listen to this noise. You can actually hear it clicking on that ABS a little bit. Did you hear that? I that heard that, ticking? yeah. That's yeah. pretty interesting. That's not me touching the brake. That's all the car slowing down or regen. So, okay, let's come up with a conclusion. Well, so, uh, you know, electric vehicles are heavier, which potentially should be better in the snow because you can get better traction. But I think if you're going to be living in Colorado, you definitely want snow tires or all-weather tires or all-wheel drive. That would be a conclusion. Well, all-wheel drive won't help you stop or turn, though. I think snows or all weathers are a must. Oh, one other thing about this car, it's got this huge windshield and it fogs up really quickly. Yeah, I saw that. It's always fogging up on me, so you gotta be pretty liberal with the defrost here. Yeah, I wish um, now that we have an affordable electric car, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask the next question. 
How about an affordable all-wheel drive electric car? Because the cheapest, I think, right now are still in the $40,000 range. That's true. Yeah, yep. That's a great point. That would be really great to see. All right. There you have it, guys. Another uh, TFL snow video. Uh, we will uh, see you next time. Look at that. It's a winter wonderland out there, Tommy. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah, thanks for, thanks for watching this one. Ciao.